Mr. Redmond has withdrawn more than $30 million from the plan's account. Mr. Redmond claims refunding the Halcyon pension plan has always been his intent. But sources say Redmond was coerced by the vigilante, who to this day... This guy gets more airtime than the Kardashians, right? Five years on an island and you still know who they are. I've been catching up. It's nice to see how much our culture has improved while I was away. You know, the city used to be different. People used to feel safe. Oh, what's the matter, Mom? Afraid we're gonna be next? Do you have any questions about today, Oliver? It's a simple proof-of-life declaration. You just read out a brief prepared statement to the judge and then your death in absentia judgment will be voided. It's fine, Walter. I've been in a courtroom before. Four times by my estimate. You know, there was the DUI, the assault on that paparazzi douchebag, stealing that taxi, which was just awesome, by the way. And who could forget <laughs> peeing on the cop? I wish everyone would. I'd hang, but we're headed to court. I know. That's why I'm here. My best friend is getting legally resurrected. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Okay. What about you? Oh, I think the first four times of you in court was enough for me. Fair enough. This is Queen. The car's ready. Walter? Where are you going? Uh, somewhere loud and smoky. And don't bother trying to pickpocket my stash this time, because I'm going to go get drunk instead. Yeah. You think this is what Dad would want for you? Dead people don't want anything. It's one of the benefits of being dead. I was dead. And I wanted a lot. Except for your family. You've been home a week, and all you do is avoid Mom, ignore Walter, and judge me. Don't wait up. Well, I owe you an apology, Mr. Sum. I'm testifying, maintaining his innocence in the wrongful death of Victor Nocenti. Nocenti's body was found four weeks ago. We'll keep you updated as more information becomes available. Uh, wait, how did you get those? <sighs> Don't you knock? No, wait, Mom said that there were scars. I, I'm... Oliver, what happened to you out there? I don't want to talk about it. Of course you don't. You never want to talk to me about anything, except for my social life. Wait. Where are you going? Why should I tell you? I'm sorry, Thea. I need to get better at talking about what happened to me there. I'm not ready yet. Okay. Do you have a second? Yeah. Good. I want to show you something out back. Sometimes when I felt whatever, I'd come here. About a month after the funerals, Mom stopped going out. Pretty soon, she stopped talking altogether. The house got so quiet, so I'd come here to talk to you. I mean, stupid stuff, like what I was doing that day, what boy I had a crush on. And then sometimes I'd ask you, beg you, to find your way home to me. Now, here you are. And the truth is, I felt closer to you when you were dead. Look, I know it was hell where you were, but it was hell here, too. You gotta let me in, Ollie. You gotta let someone in. <laughs> 